Hi everybody. So I'm just going to continue where I left off creating the Spider-Man minion that's designed by Jess Davies, also known as Craftlover17 on Instagram. We are going to finish him off. All the band count, all the supplies were mentioned in part two. So if you need to refer, you can go back to that video. All the links will be down below in the description box. So I'm going to continue and I do hope you enjoy. We're going to start off with this mask here and I'm going to do eight single crochets in the magic rank and I'm going to be following this pattern. Red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black. So basically you're doing that same color four times. My cat band is going to be with black. So you might want to pause the video and set up your bands the same as same way as I have. So I'm going to use the bottom part of my loom and I'm going to take my black band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to pull each of these bands through one at a time. So I'm going to reach in with my hook through my cat band, bring my red band through and end on the hook. Top loop over and bring it to the side. Back in for my second band, which is the black. End on my hook and now the top two loops over and bring it to the side. And I'm going to continue the same way, band through, end on my hook and top two loops over and bring it to the side. And continue. You want to attach your stitch marker to this band, the black band, around your hook and you can remove off the loom. I am going to remove it off the loom and then attach my stitch marker. I'm just going to first move my bands around so it's all nice and even and attach my stitch marker. And you should have eight stitches including the stitch that's around your hook. For round two, we're going to increase on each chain around. So adding two bands to each chain. So it's an increase and we're going to increase to 16 stitches. So here I have 16 bands, eight sections. Each section is two bands that will go in one chain. The colors that I'm going to be doing are going to be just like this. Two red, red then black, two red, red then black, two red, red then black, two red, and red then black. So you can pause the video and copy the same layout that I have with my bands. I'm going to get started. I'm going to go in my first chain with two bands, one at a time, both being red. No slip stitch, just going to go back in. Now I'm at the black chain, adding two bands one at a time, starting with the red. Back in, just single crochet, next stitch, two bands, both being red. Back in, my black chain, one red, then one black. In. And you're going to continue following this layout until you get to your stitch marker. And my last stitch. Okay. 
So you should have 16 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round three, we're gonna increase to 24 stitches. So you could pause the video and copy the same layout, but I will review. At the end of round three, we're gonna have 24 stitches. So the pattern is gonna be a single crochet followed by an increase, single crochet followed by an increase. One, two, one, two. You're gonna repeat that pattern eight times. So you can see by the color, I have red, two red, black, two red, red, black, then red, 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 then black, red, 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 black, red, 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 black, red, 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 black. That is the colors that I'm going to be do using um, in this order. So I'm going to take the first couple rows slowly. So I'm going to go in my first chain, which is the red one here, and do a single crochet. My next stitch, my second stitch is going to be my increase, so it's two single crochets with your red. Back in. So I'm going to repeat single crochet followed by an increase, one, two. My stitch here at the red, I'm going to be adding the black, just single crochet. My black stitch here is my increase with two red. Back in. And I'm going to repeat one, two, following this pattern. Next stitch, first black, then red. So you can just continue like that. I'm not gonna mention the colors. I'm just gonna pull the band so I hope that you can see. So right now you should have 24 stitches and you can remove your stitch marker. For round four, we're gonna increase to 32 stitches. So this is the layout of the colors and the pattern goes two single crochets followed by an increase. One, one, two, one, one, two, which you're gonna repeat eight times in order to get 32 stitches. For the colors, it's red, 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 black, red, 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 black, and repeating that eight times. So you could pause the video and set up your bands like that. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to add one band in the first two chains. No slip stitches. Two bands in this third chain now. Back in. And repeat. One, one, two. Right. 
Repeat again, two single crochets followed by an increase. And again, you're going to continue following the layout until you get to your stitch marker. You should have 32 stitches. This is what my pattern looks like right now. And I'm going to remove my stitch marker and add it to the band that's around my hook. Now for rounds five, six, and seven, it's the exact same layout. 32 bands, so you'll do 32 single crochets. One, 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 all the way around. I'm going to do each one of these rounds, so I'll set it up again for round six and set it up again for round seven, just so you don't get confused. For what we're going to do is three red followed by a black. Three red, black. Three red, black. Repeating that eight times. So for round five, this is what we're going to do right now. Just one band in each chain following the colors that I have right here, so you might want to pause that video. Single crochet. Thirty-two single crochets. You can either add a new stitch marker or another stitch marker or remove yours. We're going to repeat the same steps 
for two more rounds. So I'll be back to set that up. So now we're on round six and it was the same thing as we did in round five. So we're gonna do 32 single crochets, one band in each chain following the same layout. Three red, one black. Three red, one black. Three red, one black. Repeating eight times until you get to your stitch marker. When we're done this, we're gonna do round seven, repeating the exact same steps. So basically for these um, two rounds, it seems to be red, 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 black, red, 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 black, all the way around. It seems that the black still lands on the black chains, if that helps. So you should still have 32 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook and then we'll do round seven. So we've completed round six and we're moving on to round seven. Same pattern. Three red, one black. Three red, one black. Repeating these steps eight times. So I have 32 bands still and we're gonna finish with 32 single crochets. So one band, one, 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 all the way around until you get to your stitch marker. So again, it's in each of the red, it's a single band, and then when you hit the black chain, it's a black band.
32 single crochets, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round eight, we're gonna do 32 single crochets, one band in each chain, one, 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 all the way around. I'm gonna be using just black color now. So I have eight rows of four. There's 32 bands here. Just go ahead until you get to your stitch marker, one band in each chain. I think you can just continue going around all the way till you get to your stitch marker and come back to me when you're done. For rounds 9, 10, 11, and 12, it's the same layout as we did before in rounds 5 to round 7. I have 32 bands here and 32 stitches. That's what we're going to do, 32 single crochets. The pattern is going to be three red followed by a black. Three red followed by a black. You're repeating that eight times. I'm going to do round nine with you and then you're going to pause the video to complete the rounds. I will be back after round nine to show you the layout once again and then you can just pause the video to copy. What we're going to do is go in your first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and single crochet in your first chain, the next, following the layout. You can kind of see that I ended with a black chain right here and I'm adding my black band if that helps any. The last three rounds here will be easy to follow the pattern because you're just going to end up with your bands in the same chain, same color chains. So you can see I have my black chain right here and it's my black band. You can either remove your stitch marker or add another stitch marker, which I might do that, so you can count your rounds when you're done. So you finished with round 10, with, sorry, you finished with round nine. You're gonna copy the same layout for rounds 10, rounds 11, and rounds 12. So I've just put the layout for you so you can pause the video and all you're going to do for the next three rounds is copy the color of the chains. Red, 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 black. Red, 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 black. All the way around until you get to your stitch marker. So you want to pause the video, do the same thing for the next three rounds and come back to me 
for the next, for the last round. So now I'm at round 13 and so far this is what the top looks like. I can tell that I used a jelly band in here and I didn't even notice, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do now for round 13 is 32 single crochets using black. It's our last round, so what you're gonna do with your last band is a slip knot to tie it closed. So again, black, 32 bands, one band in each chain, until you get to the stitch marker. So don't go in your first chain, you're starting in that red band or that red chain and single crochet. Last band, bring it through all the loops and tie it closed. And you can remove your stitch marker. And the top part's done. What we're gonna do now is attach the bottom piece. So this is the top of the mask and this is the bottom. So I want you to grab the bottom, the one with the blue. And where your slip knot is for your body, I want you to put it inside. Now we're gonna do 32 slip stitches around. So find which part of the body that you'd prefer to use. And just to point out that this piece is the front. So you can see these are the sides and this is the front. So I want you to turn it around to make sure that it's flush with the body so you don't have any gaps and I'm going to turn it around to the back. Now this is not the center back, your center back would be about here, somewhere here. So this is where I'm actually going to start. What I'm going to do is with 32 bands red, I'm going to go from the top towards the bottom and I'm going to grab the yellow stitch on the body first. That's right beside the red stitch of the chain. So as I'm going around, I'm going to be pushing this with my hand to make sure that it's, it stays flush. So I'm going to go through the chain on the body, the chain on the body suit, and do a slip stitch to each chain around. So I'm going to be grabbing the body first. And then, so go to the next one. So if you put your hook straight like this, this is the chain on the body that you're gonna grab and go through the chain on the bodysuit and slip stitch. So that means you're just gonna bring your band through all of the loops on your hook and slide. And again, you can just put your hook straight, keeping it flush. If you put your hook straight like this, you're gonna grab the body and then the bodysuit. And you're gonna continue going like that all the way around 
until you finish with your 32 stitches and you ended where you started. So you can see that I just keep fixing it, hook straight, grab the stitch, and grab the chain. Straight, grab the chain, Once you do about 10 stitches, you want to make sure that you're staying even. You want to check your stitches to make sure that you didn't go like up and down. I'm just stuck here. That your bodysuit didn't move straight. So I've done about eight stitches now. I'm going to do two more and then check. So you just want to look, oh, I let go, sorry. You, you just want to look just to make sure that you're like on an even row. And then you can continue going the exact same way. Just to point out that the mask at the top is the exact same thing. We're going to be doing 32 single crochets. Just take your time. I'm just going to check again just to make sure. I'm comparing it to the yellow. So I'm about the same row and fixing. Now before I continue into the end, you want to make sure that you're on the same row where you started. So if you look at it, and then you can continue. So I've realized that I was missing a row of red. I do apologize, I'm just gonna continue. I uh, only had seven rows instead of eight rows. So we're just gonna continue going around. Now this is my last band, so we're going to do a slip knot. You're just going to tie it tighter, so just giving it a little pull. Now you just want to check it out. And make sure that you don't have any gaps here. Now we're going to attach the legs, and I'm going to do both with you. But what I want you to do is put the legs together and see which one you prefer for the right and the left leg. So it's up to you. They are the same pattern, but you're going to like one for one side more than you are for the other. So I'm just gonna switch these around. Now, 
I'm going to do this side first. I want you to find the front. So here's the back. This is your front. These go at the side. So this is the center front. You're going to need 12 bands and I'm going to do 12 slip stitches around. You can do single crochets if you prefer. Let's find the placement on the leg. You're going to sque squeeze the leg in half here, send, like side to side, and find your band or your chain that's going sideways. This is my chain going sideways. Count three stitches to the left. One, two, and three. From the outside towards the inside is where your hook needs to go. Now keeping this in mind that this is for the sides, center front. Magic circle, you're going to go to the one stitch, magic circle, one stitch over towards the side here. And grab on. You can see that this little band is on this side towards the magic circle. Now you're going to bring your band through and do a slip stitch. Now you're turning that body to the side here because now we're going to go down, hook through the chain on the leg, and you can see where my band is being pulled. We're going to go to the stitch right below. So now I'm towards the back. Do a slip stitch through the body, through the leg, through the band that was on your hook. Grab your end and slide. Now go through the next chain on the leg. You're going to put your hook flat, loosen it up, and that's the stitch where you're going to grab. So try to grab, which I went a stitch down. Bring your band through all the loops that are on your hook. Grab your end and slide. Fluff up the leg. Hook through the next chain on the leg. And put your hook flat. And that's where you want to grab. So I'm just grabbing the next chain over. I'm going to try that again. I'm going to put it, my hook flat and where the tip of my hook, that is my guide of where I'm going to grab. Chain on the leg, put your hook flat, loosen it up, and slip stitch. You're going to continue that all the way around. Hook flat, straight down, tip is my guide. You might want to check the leg just to make sure. And my last band, you're just going to pull tighter and do a slip knot. Now all you're going to do is it might get loose down here. You just want to push the stuffing back down. And next we're going to attach the other leg the exact same way. So if we're doing the other leg now, and I'm using 12 bands again. We have 12 stitches, so 12 bands. You're gonna find where you're gonna start. So you're gonna squeeze the leg in half again, find that chain that's going sideways and count three stitches to the right this time. So sideways, one, two, and three. And put your hook through. Now, find your magic ring 
and you're gonna go so you want to make sure that this is even don't be like this you want to make sure that this is even like this find your magic circle here and count two stitches kind of on an angle towards the top so I am seeing one stitch here and I'm gonna go right above two this is where I'm gonna grab now you're gonna see that if you start to sew you're gonna be even with this leg and do a slip stitch the next chain on the leg you should be going right beside so put your hook straight down and grab the chain right beside on the body and slip stitch now your leg should be even with this one at the top you're gonna go on the next chain you're still at the top so you're gonna grab the next chain on the body next chain on the leg you're still beside but put your hook straight down and let it be your guide now you can see that my leg is turning put your hook through and you're going to put your hook straight down and that's where you're going to grab still at the side of the body and now you're going to start to see that the leg is turning you want to make sure that it's even with your other leg so put it straight down the hook next chain band right beside keeping an eye on the other leg pushing the stuffing inside the leg now I'm starting to turn towards the center here and I'm just putting my hook straight down I'm here what you don't want to do is grab the center circle so you want to be beside the center ring there that magic ring just like the row over and I'm gonna pull this band tighter just to tie it off again if it's loose fix it up and you can hide your slip knots going through the legs coming out the side and bringing it inside and you can do that to all the other ones now we're gonna attach the mask on but what I want you to do first is just kind of stretch it out not pulling at it I'm just I'm just going like this with my fingers to get rid of the bumps if you have them like I do and it will flatten out and be a little bit easier to sew it on so here's the back here's my back I'm just gonna attach it and I'm gonna do 32 slip stitches around the exact same way that we did with the bottom suit so I want you to flatten it out with your hands and the design is pretty it's pretty much the same at the top here so there's really no right and wrong way of placing it on just so long you have it flat now I'm gonna go from the bottom towards the top and I'm gonna do my 32 slip stitches around I want to make sure that my spacing of my yellow is the same before I start so I'm gonna start at the center back and I'm gonna do my 32 slip stitches 
So body first, from the bottom towards the top, and slip stitch. Hook straight, body, black chain. Band through all the loops. And it's the exact same way. The last band, you're just gonna pull tighter to close it off. So you're gonna do this all the way until you finish your 32 bands, or, well, you're gonna finish 32 bands, or you might notice you're back where you started. I'm gonna do one more stitch here and then check just to make sure that I'm going even, that the spacing is the same all the way around. You gotta make sure that you're fixing, that it's flush. My last band, I'm gonna do a slip knot. If you'd like, you could do an extra stitch just to kind of even this out. I'm just gonna close this off to like have a complete round. Just because it's the back, I'm just gonna close it off. Now all these slip stitches that you see, you wanna hide them. And you can do the same for the top. Now to attach the arms, what we're going to do is use a single black for each arm. And I'm gonna attach them right at the side, right at the top black. Where you see this row right here, that's where I'm gonna be attaching the arms. I'm gonna go through, so I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna go through the chain of the bodysuit here and pull my band through. The second chain, pull my band through and single crochet, so slide. And the last sewing band, so you should be bringing three sewing bands through and slide. Turn it around and you're gonna grab that sewing band, that last one that you just pulled through, and you're gonna do a slip knot just to secure it. So through all the bands. Now I'm gonna hide this band, the sewing band, and I'm gonna go through the arm. And I'm gonna do the same for the other side. So bring it to the side, 
and I'm going to grab the first chain, which is the red right at the top here, and bring my sewing band through the center, through, and the last one. Turn it around, catch the sewing band on the arm, and do a slip knot with a single band. And I'm going to pull that through the arm. All that's left to do is basically attach your goggles. We're going to make the spider, and I'm going to bring this closer to where it came out of, and do the mouth. But this is what you should have so far. I'm going to attach the mouth now. I'm going to use two black bands and tie it off with a single yellow. The first thing that I'm going to do is tie my bands together. So I'm going to do a slip knot. Bring it through. And making sure that it's nice and flat. Now what I'm going to do is find your placement where you'd like to go. You can even wait to do this after the spider is up to you, but I'm gonna go through the stitches the length of my hook. Bring my band through, uh, don't grab stuffing. Bring my band through, grab the end, and I'm gonna tie it off. So I kinda went on an angle. And I am going to go from the top. I find that the band stays a little bit nicer if I go from the top down towards the bottom to pull that yellow band through. Or I think. <laughs> I always, this the mouth is always the hardest part for me. going to give this a tug right now and then just pull it through. We're going to start to make the spider and what we're going to do first is thread eight small little e-beads onto the bands on a single band. If you don't have the e-beads, I'm going to show you how to do that with the rubber bands in one minute. But you need a total of eight, whether you're using the bands or the beads. So if you're using the beads, you want to thread them on, put your string through the rubber band, grab both ends together, and put this through the small, tiny bead. and bring it down to the center. So whatever you choose, you're going to need eight in total. Now if you are just using the bands because you don't have the beads, you want to make eight like this. So you're going to take a single band and wrap it four times around your hook. One, two, three, and four. Now you're going to take a single band and you're going to double it. So stretch it out, double it, figure eight, Grab it and slide your band on to the center and you can gently remove this. So you'd want to make eight like this or eight like this. Now before we start anything here, I am going to be using the neon green. You want to be using the black color. Just the black did not show up, so I'm going to redo this using the green color. So you want to use black. Now this is just showing you the new product from Rainbow Loom. It's the double-ended hook that will be available in late spring. I just wanted to say if you do the spider using this hook, it's just a lot easier. And I wanted to show you how the grips can easily be removed and easily put back. I don't want to lose my ends here. They come off uh, and you can put them back. You can move them up and down. So it's a great little feature and it's got the two hooks on the end. Now for this design, I've put 
my pieces all in order so you can just loom instead of picking you're gonna have to remove your hook and then pick it up pick your pieces up and then put it back on your hook that's which we'll get to in a second but I just wanted to show you I'm not doing a review on this it's just a lot easier if we had one now I've put my pieces in order you can see that I have shorter legs and longer legs so I have short long long short tail short long long short and the head and this would be the order of what we're going to be doing, like going around making the spider. So I'm going to show you how to do the shorter legs. So you're going to need your bead or your band with your bands. If you don't have that, I'm just going to quickly do another one. Um, if you are using the bands, then I'm just going to quickly show you how you're going to have to do that. So you want to get it on your hook. And this is what you should have from what you made. And you're going to do a chain of two double banded bands. Or sorry, single band doubled. And you're going to slide that on. You're going to do that one more time. And you're going to need a total of four. One, two, three, four of the short legs. Now, if you are using the beads, what you're gonna do is take the bead, put one end on your hook, and you're gonna twist this and double it around your hook. Put the other end on your hook, and you're gonna twist and double it. So now you have four loops with that single band. Now you're gonna take two bands and single band, doubled, and you're going to pinch these pieces on and slide them on. And one more time. Single band, doubled, and you're going to slide your pieces on. So the shorter legs have the bead and then a chain of two, single band, doubled. And you can just remove gently and you're going to need a total of four. For the longer legs, we use four bands singled, doubled as a chain. And the same thing with your bead. You're gonna twist, put the other end on your hook, twist, and a chain with four bands, single bands, doubled. So that was one. It's my second. And one more. So you're going to need a total of four for the legs. So these are the shorter legs and these are the longer legs. Now we need to make the tail. So the tail is single band capped three times and I'm going to slide it on to double bands. So you're going to take a single band for the tail, one, two, and three, and just slide that on to double bands. Fix it up nicely and then you can just remove. So that's the tail. Now we're going to make the head. So what I'm going to do is take two bands and wrap it around my hook four times, one at a time. So my first one, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to do this again. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to slide this onto double bands. This is the tail. Uh, sorry, the head. So I'm going to just fix that up and remove off my hook gently and put to the side. So now you want to pause the video and make sure you have the head, 
four small legs, four long legs, and your tail. So for round one, I'm going to do a chain of three. I'm going to use a different color cap band and then cut it after with my scissors. I do recommend using scissors and not breaking the band like I normally would. So we're going to do a chain of three. And as I was saying before, is if you had the hook, you could just start crocheting just with the hook and eventually just slide all your pieces on as we go. So what we're going to do is take a single band and wrap it around my hook three times and then a chain of three. This is what you should have. Last band slide. For round two, sorry, for round two, we're going to go in reverse stitch. We're gonna do two single crochets in our first chain, six single crochets in our second chain, and two single crochets in our last chain. And then you're going to end up with 11 stitches and you're gonna add your stitch marker. So what I'm gonna do is, I want you to hold your cap band like this, not like this. So you don't wanna see the circle, you wanna see the edge. And you wanna go in reverse, so go from the top down and you'll see that your whole chain is on your hook. What you're gonna do is a, an increase, so two single crochets in this one chain. Back in. Now again, hold your cap band and go from the top through. Here you're gonna do six single crochets in that one chain. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six bands. Now you're going to see your last chain, it's where you're going to do your increase, two bands in that one chain. Before I continue, I'm going to cut my red band and your chain should not fall apart. If it does, it's because you didn't have the chain on fully on your hook. You went the wrong way. So I'm going to go in my last chain, it's my increase. Back in. And I'm going to move my bands around. And we have 11 stitches. Right at the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm oh, sorry, we don't count this top one. It's a slip knot. I'm sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 is on your hook. So I have rounds 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. I've split them up in rounds just so it would be easier to explain and for you to understand. I'm going to review each piece that I have here, but before I start, I'm going to attach my stitch marker to this band that's around my hook just because I forgot. Now what I have here is we're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to slide this piece on. This piece is the head. It's the band, the two bands that I wrapped around the hook four times. This is the head, and we're gonna start with that. Now, if you're familiar with the Santa Minion hat that Jess Davies did, this is the, gonna be the same technique. If not, I'm gonna show you slowly. So to review my pieces here, I have the head, short leg, long, long leg, short leg, the tail, the one that I wrapped around three times, short leg, long, long, short. For round eight, we're gonna do an invisible decrease, so watch that part carefully. In this last band, we're going to do a slip knot to tie it closed. 
And I'm going to try to do this one slowly. So what I'm going to do is the first one. I'm going to do a single crochet with a band. So I'm not going to go on my slip stitch. I'm going to go on my first chain. Single crochet. I'm going to pinch this, hold this. You could put it down. You just want to keep an eye on it that your band doesn't slide. And you want to put the head on your hook, both ends. So that's why it would be easier using the double-ended hook because then you can just slide your pieces on as you did the single crochet or right after you did the single crochet. What we're going to do is put this stitch back on our hook and we're going to slide. Now don't go in front of the head, you want to go behind the head. So I slid it on and my hook was like this. So you kind of want to go behind. Now you're going to go in your next chain, so don't go in the same one where your band is being pulled. You want to go in your next chain. Do a single crochet. You can pinch this, hold this with your finger. If you can, or if not, put it down. Just keep an eye on it to make sure that the single crochet stayed. And you want to put the four little loops of the short leg on your hook. And you're going to slide this onto your band. So pinch and slide. Again, you're just like this. Go behind, making sure that you're not going in the same chain. Go to the next one over and repeat single crochet and attach your long leg on now. So you want to pinch, hold it or put it down, just keep an eye on it and put your long leg on your hook, all four loops. And grab your band and slide on. Now you've ended like this, go behind and go to the next stitch over. Single crochet and then attach the long leg. Pinch it, hold it. Now you could attach a couple of these pieces on your actual hook so you don't have to keep removing it. That's entirely up to you. Get all four pieces four loops on your hook and slide. Now for the next one we're going to do a single crochet and attach the shorter leg. So go behind, go in your next chain over, single crochet, hold it, remove your hook and put the shorter leg back on. four loops on your hook and slide. Go behind, don't go in front and go to the next stitch over. Now we're going to do our invisible decrease. So I'm going to do two slip stitches in the next two chains. Slip stitch, leave it on your hook. Next stitch, slip stitch, So you have three loops. What I want you to do is slide your first one under your second, pinch and remove. Now you might have to let go of this one. You know, try not to if you can. You can kind of like switch fingers and get your tail on, which is the one with the single band with three loops. So I have the first single crochet that I did, my tail, and now I'm putting my invisible decrease back on my hook. And I'm going to slide the tail on. And now I'm going to slide and go behind. Now you can see where I finished. I want to go to my next chain over. I'm going to do a single crochet. Pinch it 
and put the shorter leg on. Go behind and go to your next stitch over. Single crochet and attach the long leg on now. Go behind. I'm at the second last stitch. I'm going to do a single crochet and attach the long leg on. Pinch. And slide. Now what you want to do is you can put your hook through and just pause for a second. We need to get this short leg onto this band because we're going to do a slip knot. So what I'm going to do is put this on my hook and I'm going to slide that single band through the short leg. So it's on. Now you can bring this through, this whole band through all of the loops that are on your hook, grab your end, and tie it off. Now I kind of want to hide this band just as I am right now. What I'm going to do is go through this chain here and bring this single band through that actual chain just so it hides properly. I didn't want to use really properly, just what I found was best for me. So I brought it through that chain and then that can just be hidden on the actual body. We're going to remove the stitch marker and then we're going to fix up the spider. When fixing up the spider, what we're going to do is I'm going to start at the head and I'm going to go around. So I'm going to make sure that all the bands are nice and flat and you can do that to each one of the legs making sure that it, the bands are nice and flat and that they're not twisted. And you can do that all the way around. What I'm going to do next is where you see my little bead here, I'm going to go to the next stitch over. So not the first band, but the next stitch and I'm going to pinch the top bands and bend the, the feet part. So one and two and pinch and I'm bending to downwards. Now the last leg where your slip knot is, you're going to kind of turn the whole leg here to make sure that it's flat and bend the second chain from the bottom down. And basically that's what it's going to look like. So all we need to do now is attach it to the center front. Now you can attach this any way that you would prefer. I'm going to use two bands and I'm going to do two slip knots, one at the top and one at the bottom, making sure that it's centered. So what I'm going to do is grab a chain on the body and I'm going to grab a little loop underneath the tail, so it's the band with the three loops, and I'm going to do a slip knot. And the same thing to the front. I'm going to find a chain at the front here and I'm going to grab a little loop of the black from one of the rounds there, not the actual head. Okay, I want to turn this around. 
and grab a single band and do a slip knot. And then you can kind of just pinch the center front I mean, you could do another slip knot at the sides, and you just want to hide that black band. It might go underneath. So I'm going to go from the top through the body here, grab that band, and then just hide it. And you can do that with the slip knot on the leg, and the same thing with the top one. And you can just kind of fluff that up and then you want to attach the goggle which I have no idea where it went goggle and you're done I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching